Hello, everybody. I am joined by Elke Bertrand Grospelier, one of my faves always. So glad to get him on the show just briefly, at least, so we can catch up because I was in my Slack channel this morning and I saw a little hype that Elke is at the final table of the Super Millions, which is going to be playing out. The final table will play out tomorrow, Tuesday. To be honest, I'm not sure what time they start. I think 7 p.m. CET, I think. 7 p.m. CET. So you guys will definitely want to check it out. Coming in six and chips. Talk us through a little bit, Elki, of the the journey to get here. I know there's a ton of sickos every week. Yeah, I got super lucky, actually. <laughs> I got extremely lucky. I mean, I won a couple of key hands. I won King Jack against Kings or in preflop when I was short. So that's pretty lucky. And then you I were won all another... in preflop because I saw that I yeah. saw that hand scre screenshot. And so I'm sure when you saw. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I was already in pre-flop. I, I think I had like 15 blinds and somebody raised the uh, the hijack, like pretty aggressive player. So I just shoved and he caught with kings and I flopped the straight. So that was that was easy. <laughs> and then I got lucky again. Um, I think well, there was like 12 or 13 players left. I shoved like ace four suited in the small blind with 18 blinds and David Peters woke up with nines, but I ate an ace. So <laughs> unfortunately, there is no really like sick hands. They all outplayed me, but I got lucky. <laughs> I'll take it this time. It's okay. Easy game. Easy game when you're LG. No big deal. Um, well, I wanted to talk to you a little. I think there's been at least 20 or so of these super millions so far. And they're really sort of, they seem to be coming to be becoming the place where these high roller guys, these sickos that we all love to see play are joining in and jumping in every Tuesday. Talk to me a little bit just about, about the super millions and where you, I guess, see this going. Yeah. So the super million, I think the first one started in, um, I think sometimes in June, uh, sometime in June and uh, it's really been uh, been going and it's been uh, becoming a staple of the tournament on GG and like it's really like sick field really tough tournament but uh, it's been going and every time like basically the concept was to have like a high world tournament with a delayed final table so the final table is on Tuesday so they can make a great show and the show on the um, on the GG poker official Twitch channel it's uh, it's really great it's a uh, uh, hosted by uh, Nanonoko and Rotterdam, so it's a uh, it's a really good mix, and they're like there's a really um, yeah, it's a really great show, and uh, I think the tournament is here to stay. It's super cool because I had uh, Rotterdam uh, on the podcast maybe two weeks ago or something, and he had mentioned that actually meeting you and getting to know you was like the whole reason that he ended up becoming involved in doing the streaming. And I think it's really interesting because you're somebody who clearly can see the crossover between these like more traditional gaming people and poker. So talk to me a little bit about your relationship with with Rotterdam and how you kind of knew that, that this would be a perfect spot for him? Uh, yeah, I think I met him, uh, when did I meet him? Maybe 2014 or 15. Uh, I mean, I, I heard of him before, but basically our, our like, uh, esports career, they kind of crossed. So when I, when I started playing poker and, uh, and quit like being a StarCraft pro, he became like a Warcraft free pro. So at the beginning, I, uh, I was kind of making fun of him because, you know, the StarCraft players, they look down on the Warcraft free player because it's like an easy game. So I'm like, oh yeah, Warcraft free is good for you, but you know, it's not a real game. <laughs> I was like joking, joking like that. And um, then we became really friends and uh, I realized he was, he was really passionate with, uh, about poker, actually. He really loved the, he's like passionate about everything he does and he really loves the game and he, has, he loves the, the game ball. So he, and because of his experience with being like a, not only a professional poker player, but also a professional uh, caster and commentator, uh, is definitely the perfect fit for, for, this, for this show. So I'm really glad that he's, uh, he's enjoying it. And, uh, and with Naronoko, they make the perfect pair because, you know, Rotterdam is, uh, he loves, they both love the game so much, but Rotterdam is more like, uh, like kind of like, I mean, he's, uh, he has experience and so on, but he's playing like to have, to have fun and, Nine on Oko is like the the consumer pro, so they like go back and forth to each other. So it's pretty it's pretty good, you know. That's what I was thinking. There is such a nice balance, and it was perfect to think of somebody like that who was going to appeal to, you know, an audience. Most of the people I think watching poker these days, they know a lot more than people want to give them credit for. But still, you know, maybe they don't always want to hear the commentary 
just from the person who can multi-table like you know yeah, 30 it's, it's, tables. It's, 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 they can relate much more from Rotterdam because like the, he knows a lot about poker but of course obviously he's not studying the game like 10 hours a day either right so it's like a, it's a good match I think for most of the audience as well. So in terms of the Super Million final tables, this is already your second final table, right? My so second talk final me, table, yeah. Talk to me a little bit about that experience and what you were looking like and feeling like coming into that final table versus this one. And I made a final table. My, my friend is at the final table too. I show you that's crazy. The first time I made the final table, I was at the final table with Leon. We are both at the final table. And then this time I also was uh, my, uh, the other French player, Sebastien Grax, he's also at the final table. So it's, uh, <laughs> it's, uh, it's gonna be in interesting and it's, uh, it's pretty fun. I mean, it's, uh, it's always a dream when you play tournament with a friend and you make the final table, you know, it's like, I remember like the first EPT I played actually, when was that, man, that was a long time ago, but there was uh, two American friends, they came together and they got first and second. That was like the sickest thing ever. Like uh, Brendan Schaefer and, uh, What's his other name? Uh, Olson, I think that was that was just crazy. That's just crazy, you know. <laughs> I can't remember, but I do. I remember that story also. And they were like rooming together while they yeah, were. Yeah, they came. They came to the. They were. They were like friends before, and they came to the tournament together, and they got like first and second. It's like, <laughs> it's like just insane. <laughs> so crazy. Well, I'm sure, especially because of how many amazing players there are at the Super Millions every week, that you guys will likely always have maybe like a friend <laughs> at the final table. Um, but before I let you go, I want to quickly touch on, I saw that you just had your anniversary. Tell me, what did you guys do amidst the COVID world? Did you go out and have some fun? Uh, yeah, luckily in, uh, it wasn't so close. It was just before, like there was another wave of lockdown. So we went to Milan. We have like an anniversary in Milan, you know, so we have a tradition that we go back there every, every year for a few days. Uh, so luckily, like not everything was closed, so we still were able to enjoy the city. But that was good timing because now I think it's like it's like probably not even possible to leave the Czech Republic now. I think. I couldn't believe what wide. I saw on your Twitter. It said eight years. I was like, is has it been eight years? That was making me feel really old. In yeah, history. eight years. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. I try to forget about it too. <laughs> I don't like. I don't like numbers. <laughs> I, I always forget my husband and I had our wedding anniversary and I actually forgot and someone texted me and was like, oh, happy anniversary. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's right. Like, that's the thing you're supposed to remember. You're supposed to get together. <laughs> I remember the anniversary, but I try not to remember the number. <laughs> yeah, no, it's like, we're all, we're, we're getting up there. Uh, that's for sure. It's kind of terrifying. Um, okay. And then also I wanted to ask you about, because I was off this last week and uh, just before I went off, they were sort of, Gigi was starting, they announced this new schedule, which was going on on Saturdays, which was sort of to offer just more, I think, poker and more interesting fun streaming on Saturdays, which seems to be sort of a dead day. Uh, so have you been participating in that at all? I know people always just want to like... Uh, yeah, I played last Saturday, actually. Uh, so basically, we started with playing Among Us, and then the winner, you get hosted by everyone else. I really suck at Among Us. I should practice. <laughs> and so the winner was hosted by by all the losers, and then they, uh, we, pl we played some um, uh, All in a Fold and uh, some... Uh, Russian uh, cash and uh, and then we played the the beat the pros you know the beat the pros the tournament which are the bounty tournament which has been going on like every Saturday for for a while so we played uh, all of them together so it was a uh, it was pretty fun it's like more like more relaxed day you know especially on Saturday because I mean obviously it's a great event but it's like the schedule is a little bit lighter than on Sunday so we can like have more fun and be a bit more relaxed so it's pretty good. I love that. I think that's exactly what, what the whole point was and what we were hoping for. Well, everybody who, I'm going to get this video out like ASAP. So for everybody who's listening, just let them know one more time if they want to watch your appearance tomorrow at the final so, table. Where to yeah, go. tomorrow at the final table is going to be streamed on uh, twitch.tv slash official, and it's going to start the uh, 7 p.m. CET, which uh, uh, I think there was like time difference, not like a, like winter, like yeah. whatever like it's you know, so complicated time. it just happened so like two days ago that should be uh uh i think now it's like five hours in so east eastern time it should be at uh, 2 p.m i think wow that's why you're the wizard and the math guy and I i'll so. just trust Hopefully. you and google <laughs> or cet to whatever other time well i super appreciate you taking the time i of course will be sweating you tomorrow i would love to see you it will be an even 
better story if you end up shipping this one. So I wish you good luck. Thank you, Sarah. (laughs) Bye. Good to talk to you. Bye.